right, and good morning. Uh, so I talked about in, depending on when this comes out, one of my vlogs, vlog number 14, uh, about wanting to do some sketches, like practice sketching, uh, just to build up my proficiency, and you know, I thought it'd be cool. I, I did the sketch of the ray gun, which I really enjoyed. So, uh, this morning I'm gonna try to do some sketching. Uh, I got two things I'm gonna practice on this morning, and the way I'm gonna do this is I got a random, a random item generator. Uh, so I'll, I'll flip through that and pick something that I think's kind of interesting and catches my attention in the morning. Uh, and then I'm gonna try a person. Uh, I've never been good with people, but I've never really sat with like a, a reference image up and tried to capture like someone, like capture someone. Uh, I think I could do it in a more cartoonish manner, so we're gonna try it. Um, I'm not very, you know, sure how it will turn out. But the item is more for the industrial design. The person is more just for my own proficiency. So, on the monitor to the side, we're gonna start with the item first. I'm gonna switch over to it. Um, and I'm using random lists. Uh, it's a website. It has like a thousand random items. So, the item I got was monitors. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate down here to my pen and paper. And then we're gonna get a little bit more light, I think. All right. Can we see this on, on camera? Yeah. So, now we're gonna erase it. <laughs> so the idea is gonna be, so monitors. When I think of monitors, uh, what I want to think of is more than one monitor. I currently rock two monitors. I'm going to draw out like a 45-esque. So, if I could have any monitors set up, I'd want... I'm trying to think of how I want to start this. So let's start with a line across. Kind of get the reference for where our monitors are going. Uh, if I could have any set of monitors, I'd want three-ish monitors. So... Having like a reference for where your center is going to be, maybe like right here. Call that your center monitor, and then two other monitors that come out at like this flat angle here, and then connect right here, and another one that comes out over this way. I'm probably making this way more complicated than it like should honestly be, but why not? What's, what's the point of like doing practicing if you don't pick something that's actually kind of in a way challenging? Let's actually line up this line right here and this line right here. So we'll bring this one down here actually. And then we can erase this little stuff right here. All right, so we kind of got the shape of like a traditional three monitor setup in this kind of pattern. And if I could have like another monitor, I have two right now, which works for most of the things I do. Um, I would like a widescreen monitor because I think they're really cool and very unique. And I think they could get some more real, real estate when playing certain things. But I have not been able to get one. We're going to straighten up that line a little bit. So part of being a monitor is you got to have, have a way to attach them. So in the back here, for both this monitor here and this monitor here, we're gonna say that we have a monitor arm. In the back, lined up, centered with this monitor, and it's gonna come out something like this and match something right here on this monitor. Same for the side, we're gonna lose a little bit of it on the edge of the page, but that's fine. Uh, they gotta have a pivot point right here uh, some fashion, actually that should be rounded, and then they should come and meet up with this piece right here. So we'll call it like that, and then this arm, something like this. And then, so that'll keep those aloft, per se, and then this one's actually going to set on a generic, like, monitor kind of base. Because for what whatever reason, I don't think we'll need to uh, have it hung uh, if we don't need to. So it's actually gonna be like a, just a flat base. 
No reason to get very fancy with it. All right, so right now these monitors have very little depth and are connected to each other. So I think we need to add a little bit of separation between them. Uh, so we're going to separate them just a hair. And we'll call this one right here. Call this one right there. Do some erasing. And this one I think we're gonna call right here. I kinda like where the other monitor is placed itself. I am gonna straighten up that line though, I think. And then we will come back over. This one still looks a little off. Like it looks a little unsquare in a weird way. Okay, back a little bit. And so they need a little bit of like form. So what we'll do is we'll come through. I actually Actually, actually, that would be a mistake. This one's actually going to come into this way because you're the way we got these kind of placed, you're going to see kind of this angle here. So we will give them something like that. I think it actually like to have it come in right there. Yeah, this one you can maybe see. We'll say we'll, you can see the top a little bit. This will cut off a little bit more of this monitor arm, but that's fine. And we will clean that up just a hair. Now I'm gonna say you can't really see behind it. So something like that. And this one you're gonna see this edge. And then you'll see the top. From whatever mysterious angle we are looking upon this thing. Then alright. So now we got kind of like the generic shape of this. Going to add a rim for the screen. That's one thing, I wish I could draw straighter lines. Like, these are just practices, so I'm not like super worried about it. But I should invest in like a, a straight edge to keep at my desk. Because I feel like a lot of the drawings I do require one. Then keep that right here, and then right here. And let's get that fixed. There we go. All right. Do a little bit of cleanup. Rough in these details a little, a little cleaner. This monitor arm needs like some hanging points and okay. Can't see the back, so we don't just like say how we're attaching that. You know, for just roughing this in, like pretty fairly quickly. And I actually don't think it looks too bad. If I had a pen, I might grab one. We can rough this in a little harder. Let's see what I got sitting here. Blue is a good color. All right, so let's actually like really rough this in with this blue pen. So this is a very clean line. Try to keep them very straight as I come through and go back and rough this in. A little finer. Okay. If I'm really, oh crap! <laughs> so I don't like using pen. Focused. I can really keep my straight lines pretty good, um, but I gotta really be focused on it because I don't have a very the steadiest of hands. All right, then this comes up and comes right across to there, right across that, mix that in, come right across, we're going to stop there, and this is going to come straight down. I love how talking to myself is just talking about where the lines are being placed because it takes me so much brain power 
to like keep all these lines straight when it probably shouldn't. Like I know brains have more potential than that. And then we need to roughen this arm. You know, it goes up and out of the page. I think this should be more oval than I made it. That should have more of a distinct curve to it. And then we'll come across here. Rotating the page helps me keep all of these lines more parallel and such. But as I come through, come across there, boop, boop, and come down, need those corners. All right. Then this for some added flair. Not too bad for just like a quick little sketch. All right, now the hard part. The thing I'm not very adamant about is doing a person. I still got some coffee here. All right. So when doing people, like, you pr I probably should be more apt to roughing in. We're gonna put him here. I'm, I'm not doing like any dynamic poses. Not very comfortable quite yet. Rough in like a head shape. We're gonna do upper body mostly. Do the whole circle with uh, like lines in it. And then kind of rough in some kind of like shoulder-esque Look, something like that and it comes down out of frame so a t-shirt we're gonna rough in like the collar make it look kind of right see if you can notice I'm already struggling away from adding the facial details and then going to add details there which I should be so here comes Let's say like right in this area and comes like in and out, something like that. And we will add that in in a minute. That gives us kind of our lower third. And eyes are gonna start like in this area. And then nose, something right here. And then mouth is like right here. <sighs> Here's the hard part. Okay. I'm gonna roughen these details. Mm hmm hmm. Already, I'm not very happy with it. <laughs> ah. Got like that. like M-shaped mouth like hmm and then maybe like a like a that maybe no not very happy with that this might be a just monitor arm kind of thing cuz I don't think I'm gonna be able to really capture what I need to here. This facial hair connects with normal hair. Get some like normal ears. Dude, let's see. Bit in the nose, comes down. 
does my nose turn out so round? Let's not do that. Kind of like that. Do more of like a, a that shape. Looks more nose-esque. Hmm. I wonder if I find a different picture really quick. about this a little differently than I should. Cause I don't think my wheel set lends as much towards realism as it does towards a cartoonish approach. So maybe I should get a picture that more relates that and try starting there. Got songs stuck in my head where I was listening to some music in the shower this morning. Still looks a little odd, but definitely not as bad as it could be. Something like that. I feel like my nose takes up too much space. Let's leave out the nose for a second. We'll add that in. In just a moment. some people can make like doing art so and look look so easy cuz i cannot <laughs> Here up in here, maybe. It maybe comes down. Need some like ear shapes over here. And then like a smaller one on this side. And some kind of hair esque shape up here. Actually, I wanted this one in front. Just make that a little more swoopy over and then kind of like that. And then we're going to kind of like continue this like swoop over into the hair in some kind of way right to like this. Then come up and over like this maybe. And connect it back in the hair right here. Kind of high, obscuring that ear a little bit. Not super butamous, but uh, compared to the like atrocity I was making at first, um, it's a little better. Still not super happy with where this mouth lines up. <laughs> Made it look a little different. Um, Yeah, so more like that's a little better. I think I want to change up this chin just a hair. I think it should angle in a little more. And 
then come up a little. Yeah. And then we're going to try to rough in some facial hair and add a little bit of like a, a one of these and add some of this. I think my smile also goes too far across on both sides. I think we're gonna bring it in just a hair. And then we're gonna add a little bit of facial hair here. The iconic like chin strap like climbs up the face a little bit. Still no nose, but we'll like lightly rough in something right here. No, that made it look more like a mouth. Something like that. It looks like a person, not the person I was going for, but uh, I'm just gonna continue, continue these arms and shoulders down out of the frame. So, uh, it's a person. Oh, you can't really see it as much. It's a person of sorts. Not the person I was going for. Uh, still got a lot of practice to go. But, you know, oh, that did not add anything that I wanted. There's some eyebrows. Some of these connected looking eyebrows. Add maybe a little bit of texture to the hair. Hold to the ear. It's definitely a monster, but uh, it's a start. Not really sketching people. Too sketching people. I don't think it's that bad. Anyway, guys, let's go do it. Uh, we'll hide this one. Uh, there's that one. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, let me know. Let me know who you mean to sketch next. I'm going to keep practicing maybe in my free time. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.